gonna be a day. And we're gonna start that day with hopefully a really delicious drink. We have our black tea. We have our toffee nut syrup. This is number one here. Almond milk and some kind of creamer. Essentially, I'm trying to recreate this Starbucks drink that I freaking adore. It is so good. And I figured I'm that obsessed with it that I should probably try to make it myself at home. So the Starbucks drink, I actually have it saved to my Instagram highlights in case you need to refer back to it. It is a black iced tea with oat milk, toffee syrup instead of their liquid cane. I was doing brown sugar for a minute, but then they sold out everywhere. So I needed a substitute, which I actually think is the exact same as a brown sugar, if not better. And then some sweet cream on top, but you know, we're gonna do without that. This is a nice lighter at home version. Okay, we're gonna start with one tablespoon of the toffee nut syrup. I don't really know the equivalent of the pumps of Starbucks. That smells really good. I really hope this is good. Actually, I feel like it can't be bad, so maybe let's add some ice. Okay, we'll add a splash of this creamer and then some almond milk, whatever milk of choice. Not the flavor I was expecting. Still a work in progress. Okay, we're gonna add some stevia just to see like if that makes a difference. It helped, it helped. I am disappointed, it's okay. We'll try again tomorrow. Well, egg bites won't be disappointing, so. So I'm not entirely sure of the amount of vlog footage I will get today. I have a very, very busy work day. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a good one, but it's gonna be busy. I have until 3 p.m. to work on my own stuff. Lots of stuff going on. I have till three, it's currently 10, which is actually a pretty good amount of time, but from three till 6.30, I'm recording blind dating. We're doing another double session. Blind dating days are always super busy, but if you don't know, I do host a podcast with Spotify called Blind Dating. It's essentially like the Netflix show, Love is Blind. I will link it down below if you wanna listen. It's 100% free to listen to. It's very entertaining. I really enjoy doing it, it's just fun. Okay, we have our beautiful breakfast, our subpar morning drink. Let me try it again. Yeah, this is subpar. I think it's snowing again. Is that snow? Yeah, yes it is. Snowing. It wasn't supposed to snow today. That's fine. We'll pop in whenever I can. <laughs> It is 2.20 in the afternoon, 2.22 2, 2 on April 22nd. This is my first time speaking in hours. I've been sitting here just like drilled into the computer editing for hours now. And I have seven minutes until my pre-recording call for blind dating. It is snowing again. Oh, I don't think I told you. It was snowing heavily and then it was sunny five minutes later. And then it stayed that way for a little while and now it is snowing heavily again. But anyways, it's not like I'm going out today at all, so it doesn't really matter. But I am popping in now to one, give you guys an update, two, hype myself up again, because I've been really quiet for hours. So like I need to get my energy back. It's not good. It's actually quite low right now, the energy, and that's not ideal. But last week when we recorded blind dating, I had coffee beforehand because I was tired and then I was too caffeinated and I was jittery and it was just not, it just wasn't my best. <laughs> but you know what I have? still 35 minutes of the episode, so maybe I can have like a little bit of coffee. It's a risky game, but I'm like so chill right now. I'm in such a chill mode and the personality needs to be on and it's really not there right now. I think we're gonna have like a tiny bit of cold brew, like a tiny, tiny, minuscule. Also, the drink that I made this morning ended up, I, I got used to it or something and I kind of didn't mind it. It still needs work though. The vibes are low. Okay, minuscule. Actually, that's kind of good. Just chugging it over here. I have to get hype. Okay, we are set up. We have our outlines ready to go. I'm a little worried that the coffee might have been a mistake there. We shall see. It's too late now. Hello, Tara. Hey, Tara. Hello. Hi. Happy Thursday. Great news, 
I had the perfect amount of coffee. Feeling great. It was a good episode, although <laughs> at the end, we realized that one of the guys had not been recording most of the episode. So I went back in with him and re-recorded all of his parts. So I did all of my parts with him again, and we just kind of, the beauty of editing. So now I have 20 minutes till the next episode. So I'm gonna try to get as much of my own stuff done as I can. It's not really a lot of time for that, but we'll do what I can and then we will have one more episode and then we're actually gonna go to the house. Also, actually, I wanted to give you guys my Casetify code again. So you guys know I love Casetify. I love working with Casetify. I have had this Casetify case on my phone for probably a month now. I don't know, but I love it. It's like that like gray leather. I feel like it's just so cute. Very sleek, very simple, but there's like the still the Casetify around here. You guys know I like very like minimal neutral stuff. So I have this guy, but I do have other cute cases from them. Actually, let me show you. Okay. I also have these guys, which are super, super cute. So we have this one, which is like all these little plane tickets. This is one of their ultra impact cases. So they have these bumpers here, super, super protective. And then we have this one, which is another like super simple one that I love. This one specifically is actually 100% biodegradable and 100% compostable. It says on the inside, made from bamboo based materials. So their cases are actually made out of partially recycled materials. So you can feel good about the cute case that you have on your phone. They also have an antimicrobial coating on them. So they keep your phone germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria which we love. I always get asked for my code, so I will leave my link down below. You can just go to casetify.com slash Michelle to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. I wanted to make sure I told you guys about that. And now we're gonna get done as much work as possible. Now it's time for episode number two. Done, two for two. It is now 6.30. I'm about to head over to the house. So I think I'll just pick up this vlog tomorrow because I'm not really doing anything else for the rest of the day. <laughs> Hello guys, it is the next day. We are in the car en route to our run. Very exciting, crazy that yesterday was snow like legitimately snowing. Today is sunny and beautiful and warm. Like what? Nervous to see how we do, just because I'm always stressed. <laughs> but we have new running shoes, real running shoes this time. So I'm hoping that means- You're gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. That sounds like the plan. That would be really sick if I just flew through this. And then also this afternoon, we're gonna go by the house because the contractor dropped off grout samples and also countertop samples for the bathrooms and like has a whole mood board set up over there. So I'm super excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Maybe you should show uh, Drake's house over there. <laughs> so that's gonna happen this afternoon. I will bring you guys along. I was thinking about saving that for the reno update, but I'm just gonna share here. So the security checking out the cars, wow. That's crazy. Today's Friday. I'm probably gonna have like a nice chill evening to myself, have a bath, have some wine. We'll see. Another run done. And you know what? We beat the time. We beat it by another two minutes. We're at 41 minutes for the 5K. I'm pretty happy. We're just, we're getting, we're inching better. And what I- did you say you did? 41 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, 41 minutes. So soon we're on our way to under 40 and that's in the, the 30 minute range. Just inching better every time. I like just sprint at the end because I just want to get as fast as I can. Also for anyone that's gonna comment about me running with my hair down, I like to run with my hair down. I like the feeling of the wind through my hair. It feels very breezy. I don't feel as sweaty that way. To each their own, you know? I also got an email saying, my basement tile is actually ready for pickup. That's the last of the tiles. So we just set up an appointment to go grab that in 45 minutes. So nice successful afternoon. Come on over, come on over. I like the sound of that. All right, we've arrived for our final tile pickup. Got my favorite drink, Starbucks iced black tea with toffee nut syrup instead of the liquid cane, oat milk instead of water, and then a little splash of sweet cream, and it is delicious. Mm, mm. Took like 25 minutes to get the drink. 45. <laughs> but you know what? Delish. Now we're gonna go to the house, drop off the tiles, and if nobody's there working right now, we're gonna go in and see what it's looking like in there and go check out the mood boards that our contractor has set up. Sweet Mike, very excited to see. Hello? Hello? Let's find a little spot where we're gonna put it. Can maybe we pile them in front of here? Yeah. Yeah. 
He's got some weight. There. The basement tiles, we have like a dark herringbone. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, trim. Wait, that's not the new trim. They took it off. From That looks like new though. Um, no. You don't think that looks new? Well, it does look new. But it's definitely not the trim we ordered. No, he knows that. Oh, shit. Oh. That's a whole ceiling. Oh, did they move the pendants? Oh my god, the light in this kitchen, I could just die. The wall here, now they've finished it, so there's gonna be switches here, and then thermostat right here. The whole ceiling is in place. You can see all of my lights, the pendants over here. Really excited about this wall. And this wall over here is, is new, I think. No, the nice clean, right? Yeah, so clean. Because there used to be like a bulkhead up here, and also a bulkhead right over here. So much cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, they filled in the ceiling here too. Wow, things are like coming back together. Also dying over the light in the kitchen right now. Stunning, I cannot wait to cook in here and just spend some time in here. I have a little table here with some chairs right in the bay window. I think it's gonna be beautiful. All right, let's go see these mood boards. Oh, oh my God, look how fun this setup is. <laughs> This is my shower tile in this bathroom floor. This is for the third floor with the blue tiles. So, oh my gosh. So we have grout options. You can see you put right in between here. Here are other grout options for these guys. He even marked it all off. And then here are the Caesar stone samples for the bathroom countertops. So for the shower, let's talk shower first. Like for Caesar Stone? Yeah, what's he saying over here? Caesar Stone options, pure white. He, I think is what he's recommending. That matches really nicely. Grout for walls. What is this, market frost? It's a little creamy. It could look nice, I guess, with the veining. Well, because he's seeing some creaminess in here, right? Yeah, there, right? yeah. Pull it up to that. Floor grout, that's perfect. Matches perfectly. Yeah, so you're not trying to create contrast no, with that. No, no. What he's doing is he's tying into the, the veining. veining. But not making it too drastic, which I really yeah. like. Third floor, window jam, Caesar stone, pure white. So again, yeah, so that'll be for like the mm -hmm. shelf. And then the inside of the window. Mint. Oh, wait. Oh, this is mint. Oh my God, I thought that was gray actually. But I guess if you hold it, that's, wow. How nice. That, that looks actually so good. I love the way that he placed all this together. <laughs> floor grout, he has alabaster 01. For that. Oh my, perfect match. Yeah. That's incredible. He's so good. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're not wanting to contrast this. Yeah, this is phenomenal. Oh, and he has all the grouts right here. Just in case you wanted something. This is so cool. When I was picking the grout now, I went to, to Home Depot myself and I was like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a nice little kit. Yeah. Mike just really makes everything so efficient. Nice. Look, there's even sparkly grout. Silver, bronze, crystal, the sparkles. This is super cool. These are all really good. I'm really happy. I guess we should take a picture of them. I think we and should. record it, you know, for the vlog. For the vlog. Oh my God, it just keeps going. Why are these beautiful? Okay, my drain is here. Let's see, what do we got? Dun, 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 dun. Right. Oh shit, we can't even see it. Okay, so that's just the draw. Oh, the grill's right in here. Which ones are gonna be? Which one would you white like to see it be? I, like I would one. like to see it be this one. If it had a matching, yeah. like that would be the next level. Like that would look just like the Ari events that we were having. That would be kind of the next level. The light though. I am obsessed with the lighting in this house. This is everything. All the rooms look like this and it makes me so happy. What do we got? Oh, the mystery just keeps. I know. This might be the one. Ari See how it's got these little things on it? You think that would be like it? It says frameless. Yeah. Tileable, so it is. There's a butterfly on my window. Hello, little butterfly. That's not That's one. what the, the uh, shower drain is going to so be. That's like, sick. That is really sick. So, you know what that is? Sloped shower tray. I cannot wait for this to be done. It's just going to be so. I cannot wait to live here. No, I'm just going through like this thing that's coming together. But the ceiling in, I feel like that totally changed it. It looks like kind of more of a home again. Let's face it, you got some lights. I got light. You know, we've been working on this for months now, but I can't really fathom the fact that this is gonna be my home. I'm spending all this money for this to be the place I live. It makes me so happy, I'm so excited. You're gonna see even more on Friday. This is, the week hasn't even started. So what you see Friday, 
It's gonna be really the, the week update. This is not even it. <laughs> Anyways, we're heading home. Guys, please disregard the state of my hair. I know, I know how it's looking. It's greasy. It's getting washed tonight. When I got home, I got right into the shower, rinsed off my body, and then I had to get some work done. So I've been working since we got home at like, what time was that, 5.30? It's now eight o'clock. I'm actually gonna have a nice, peaceful, relaxing night to myself with a bath and some bubbles and some wine. And that is when I will wash my hair and like do a mask and everything. But I wanted to pop in and end the vlog here. So that is what we are doing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you guys are having a great week so far and i will see you on friday with a whole week of updates actually this week by the time this is live on wednesday there will be tile like installed in the bathrooms i'm so stoked so friday we'll have like tiling bathroom updates and i that's when it's really gonna start to take shape and i'm gonna freak the f out so definitely look forward to friday's video i cannot wait to see what happens this week definitely make sure to subscribe here if you are not subscribed already and also turn on the bell so you get notified whenever i post a video i share little things on instagram so if you want to follow me there too but yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching today's video thank you for watching any of my videos at all i'm genuinely still kind of can't believe that people actually watch my videos it's a really weird thing i, I can't explain it it's just it's a hard thing to comprehend but i am so appreciative of every single one one of you and I will see you on Friday.